Yo, how's it going guys? We're back for another TOS video. So today, we're gonna take down this um, Inochen, Inochen Tower event. So today, um, the fourth seal has been released. So there's an extra battle. So as you can see, I've cleared it already. But then I kind of like did it in with two different teams. Right, like I do two stars, team leader, um, different from ally, and then five attributes as one as one battle, and then ten rounds in another battle. So I kind of thinking like, oh, three star is like kind of impossible, eh? <laughs> But then I kind of like thought of one team as like, eh? I think this team might be able to make it, and yep, I made it. So it's actually this center cross team. So as you can see, the main um. The main card in this um, team will actually be Santa Claus as leader. That one is a must. And then Cassandra for damage boost and then Endor doing the, the finishing blow. Right, so as you can see these two paladins. These two paladins in this um, battle actually is not really helping much at all. It's just there for the achievement. Um, so because you need a light card and a earth card to complete all five attributes. Right, so as you can see, this Diablo battle is um, 10 rounds, consists of 10 rounds. So which means that you only can clear this achievement if you clear, if you sweep through the whole battle. Which means one, one battle, you clear it in one, you clear one battle in one battle kind of thing, right? <laughs> so, yep, basically you have to just sweep through, sweep your way through all the way to the boss in fact you have to kind of like one hit kill the boss in order to get a 10 um, 3 star achievement because by the time you reach Diablo there will be the 10 turn so if you take more than one turn there will be 11 turns so you miss the achievement right so I can take my time to slowly talk about my team because not in front um, the first the front view battles are nothing but mobs mini mobs so yep, um, main thing that you need to take note of for this team is that um, when you reach Diablo, try to have uh, more water runes uh, compared to any other these um, runes on the board because you are using water to attack. Right, so as you guys know, Diablo will come out with um, fire attribute and then only water water um, attribute cards can damage it. So basically, um, Endor is giving the um, free um, three rolls, and then Cassandra will be the one dealing the final blow. Right. So as you can see, battle eight now um, onwards. I'm gonna try to attack using all the elements other than this um, water, because got to try to conserve the water runes. Right. So don't. This team is only possible when your Cassandra and Endor is below um, below CD10. If not, uh, this team is not gonna make it either. Right, as you can see, um, not gonna attack with um, water runes anymore. But sadly, there's still sky job. Yep. <laughs> okay, so you see, um, Cassandra is ready, Endor is ready. So this two is the one dealing the blow. Right, so Diablo. Um, no doubt turn on your Cassandra and then on your Endor so with this lucky enough I have um, quite a lot of water runes on the top 3 rows yep so with that I only have 3 set of 3 water runes so other than that I'm just gonna use Tati's um, combo multiplier to boost up my attack all the way so as you can see my cards are all dealing 1 damage except for Cassandra Done. <laughs> yes. So, right. Rainbow team ten rounds clear is possible. Yeah. Don't don't think it's not possible. I I at first thought it was impossible because the first thing I thought of rim, uh, when I, when I think of rainbow deck, the first thing I thought of is Hades, Hades and Chantress team. But then nah, I I didn't I didn't make it. So I only got two star. So with this team, I got three stars. Yes. <laughs> So yep, gonna end this video here, hope you enjoy it and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!